We're back with John Tartaglia. I have a couple of questions here from, from some fans. Oh. That I want to direct Hi. to you. Okay. Hello to the fans. Hello, fans. Uh, Corey from Washington asks, what are the unique challenges to acting while also puppeteering? The hardest thing is learning how to share your performance. Mm. You know, when you are trained as, as just a puppeteer, you know, like a television puppeteer who's never seen, you can literally, and many of us are, like dead-faced you know, behind the camera, but your puppet looks and sounds amazing. And with Avenue Q or anything like that where you're seen, you have to learn how to share both, you know? And I was trained as an actor, ha ha, on stage, you know, musical theater actor. I don't know what ha ha means, but go with it. And then I was also trained as Apparently a puppeteer. That's interpretation from musical ha, ha. theater. That's what, ha, musical theater, <laughs> spirit hands and ha ha. Uh, Samantha25 from Colorado asked, do you have any new career goals or dreams? Hi, Samantha. Um, I do, actually. That was actually, um, after Johnny the Sprites was kind of my big quandary, um, was, was, okay, I've done a Broadway show, which I've always wanted to do. Actually, at that point, I'd done two or three with Shrek. Yeah. Um, I performed with the Muppets, which is something I've always wanted to do and still love to do. Um, and I have had my own television series. What so do I do now? I, yeah, I kind of was like, what? Wow, I don't actually, wow, I love the process of creating. I love directing, I love producing, I love writing, I love that too, as well as performing. I don't ever want to stop performing. But I think my new dream and goal is to create entertainment for families that mm -hmm. is accessible and that you know makes a difference in the world. That sounds like a pageant speech, okay, this one Miss America. I yeah. promise to Heat. open this Winn-Dixie store and to promote peace in the world, but that is... I would give you a 10 out of 10. Would you give me a 10? I would, yeah. Natasha from Illinois asks, have you ever been worried about being pigeonholed as the actor who always puppeteers? Funny, yes. Actually, yeah. I've realized that this is a business, and, and any of you who are aspiring performers will learn this, where you're defined by what you did last. And because Avenue Q was such a huge thing, and because my face was used to promote it, because I ended up doing so much of the publicity and you saw me so often with a puppet on my hand, there, it took a long time for most people to know that I, I could perform without the puppet. Um, and the thing is, I love puppeteering. When people hear me say that, they think that I'm, you know, kind of throwing away the one thing that led me to that role. Yeah. It's the opposite. I actually love puppeteering, but I also love performing as myself. Ironically, it, it's been more of a challenge being an openly gay actor and not being pigeoned as just, pigeonholed as just that. Than anything else. That's surprising. If if I had been performing a womanizing character on a TV show, kind of like Neil Patrick Harris did, you know, mm -hmm. before he From came day out, one. yeah, you know, where you where the audiences had so much time to fall in love with you and believe you as that, then maybe it would be a different story. But I think because I made my Broadway debut playing, or at least half of my role was playing a very gay character. You know what? I can't fight the fact that that people know I'm gay, and, I can't, and I'm proud of it, obviously, and I can't fight the fact that people are going to see me as an actor who plays gay roles, and as long as I'm not doing anything that demeans myself or demeans other gay people, then I'm okay with that. I just want to always have the opportunity to do other things besides that. Our final viewer question is Michael, 21, from New York. He asks, what Broadway stars do you look up to, and why? Ooh, that's a good one. I've never gotten that one before. Someone that I admire so much is Sutton Foster. Mm. Um, I had the pleasure of working with her in Shrek and, and, and becoming friends. And first of all, I think she's the loveliest person in the world. But, you know, it's funny, Sutton, Johnny and the Sprites was the very first TV show Sutton ever did, which a lot of people don't know. Really? And she was very, I don't want to say nervous, because Sutton doesn't really get nervous, but she was very hesitant because yeah. she had turned down a lot of other TV and film work over the years. And it's because she is such a theater girl at heart. She loves theater. This is, I mean, literally nothing makes her happier, in her own words, she said, than doing a show. Yeah. And I think she, I guess her agents over the years were like, you've got to do TV, you're getting offers. And she's like, no, no, no. And something, I guess because our show was very musical theater based, she felt comfortable and she, and she had a great time. Um, and one of the nicest things she said afterwards was thank you for showing me that I could still do TV and have a good time. But I really admire the way she's handled her career, the fact that she has dedicated herself so much to theater. Um, and now she's opening up. And now she's doing Bunheads, which is yeah. wonderful. She's hilarious. And you know, she's just one of those people that, that she matches who you hope she'll be from what you see of her on, you know. I, I'm a big believer that you, when you are given something great, it doesn't give you permission to lose all the skills that we operate by as humans. And I think that that happens, as you know, a lot in this business. And you meet a lot of celebrities who are really nasty people and it's disappointing. And I admire people who've had incredible success like Sutton or Christian Borle or people like that that are really, Neil Patrick Harris, people who are really doing well 
and are so aware of it, but are gracious and 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 realize that that realize how lucky they are. Thank you.